Did you know that every model is a Necromunda model? Well, it's true, and it's because Necromunda, unlike the other games GW makes, still actively encourages the creation and conversion of your own unique characters, with gangs like Helots, Venators, and Outcasts that have no official boxes or models bar the odd hanger-on or VIP, but instead offer you a menu of choice for your own stats to build a character and gang around. These three gang types ask of the player to take the model making into their own hands, something that was more in the old Hammer days a big part of the hobby and GW strategy to be honest with one of my favourite old White Dwarf pages being this wonderful bit of John Blanche art where he shows off some ideas for ecclesiarchy kit bashes which I think are gorgeous and I'd love to do and I wish there was more of that. Now you might say but Hamilton I would then just use any other Necromunda model to make these ones right and I would say well of course you can but you're selling yourself short here because the thing is, in the setting of Warhammer 40k and in a more potent strain Necromunda itself, is that it blurs the lines of horror, fantasy and sci-fi with religious zealots drabbed in cloaks, candles and flamethrowers, punk rangers with alien familiars, murder cyborg zombies and rogue doctors in medieval masks and multi-limbed attachments. And really what I'm saying is that the setting is everything turned up to 11 and by that I mean you can do that with your models. You want Sylvaneth Swamp Mutants? You got it. You want Steampunk Chaos Dwarf Engineers? Why not? You want Mutant Rats with Gatling Guns for Arms? Well, of course, come on in, because that is what Necromunda is a world made for. Everything and anything wild, weird, and maniacal. And yet, yes, you can also be calm, cool, and collected. Enforcer units, simple Goliath Brutes, tech-hungry Vansars, you know, they're all very simple. And that's the thing, You, the beauty of this game is that it can be both crazy wild and super simplistic because it's so open-ended. But you might say, well, 40k is also as wild as what you're saying, and that is true, but the game itself isn't inherently asking you to kitbash as much as Necromunt does. You know, 40k is very much about the factions. Yeah, you might want to add some different scrolls and some different things to your space marines, but at the end of the day, they're still space marines and it's not surprising that Necromunda is the one to keep this as it's fundamentally built around a concept of the narrative campaign where each gang is a creation of your own to then push through a series of encounters all linked by an overarching story to reach a single goal along which you can build up XP, gain loot and in turn upgrade your characters. Sometimes you might lose one on the battlefield or they just get injured and need to replace a leg with a bionic upgrade or that juve becomes a ganger giving a new las pistol. Then eventually after many hard fought battles they rise to be your gang leader gaining like the weapon of the last leader they fought to overthrow them. Thus throughout that whole process is encouraging you to go back to that same model and tell that story through how you convert it. However, yes, you don't have to do those changes, but it's there in the text. It is there as your ganger is growing and changing. You want to go back to it. You want to say, well, they've now gained this awesome weapon. I'm going to rip off that arm. I'm going to change it for another. And that is just the most wonderful thing and why I love this game so much. And now this is where you come in because I want you to help prove this point for me and thus I've started a competition under the same name, Every Model is a Necromunda Model. I've done this in conjunction with a fabulous person named Carl aka Underhive Art on Instagram and we're going to be running this competition. Every Model is a Necromunda Model, M&M for short can't see any issues there obviously. Now in this competition I'm going to ask you a simple premise to build either a single ganger or gang of at least four models from any model that is not from the GW range of Necromunda models. Now of course you can use accessories and weapons to kit them out and with that can be a head or an arm here or there but the fundamental base of the model should not be from Necromunda. Now to take this a little bit further, I've added some random rolling tables. Feel free to not roll and just choose on them, but please do use them. However, the extras, those are just that, extras. If you feel you want to use them, you will gain bonus internet points for us. And 
the thing about points is there are prizes. Yes, we have been very fortunate to have a sponsorship from Element Games where each of the winners of the four main categories being best individual model, best overall gang, best painted and the People's Choice Awards will win £20 vouchers from Element Games. And on top of that, Skirmish Mats has offered one of their industrial zone maps into the mix for all of those prize winners. And I've got a few more in the bag just waiting around for me to get confirmations on. So this prize pool is growing. And additionally to that, I will be giving the winners in each category and the two highly commended a very special trophy in the post. So make sure to get your entries in by the deadline of September the 15th. Now, in order to submit, there are two different ways to do this. Either you can go to the Discord and there's a specific channel called Final Submissions. And what you do in there is put up your photos. And if you can also put down there what you rolled on the random rolling table and make sure to at us just so we know there are new ones in there. And we will get back to you to let you know that we've seen it by leaving a little emoji down there and you can see that we've done it or go to Instagram and utilize the hashtag hashtag MNM 24 it's going to be no SEO issues I can see it and please do at either myself at fueled underscore chaos or Carl which is at Carl underscore R underscore Johnson that is not everything there are a few more rules and all of those things I've been putting up on the screen I have got in a link down below and they are both in this graphical format and in plain text I'm also going to run through these rules in this video with the wonderful Carl and so if you want to skip to that there is a timestamp below and you could just skip to us talking through all of this information in more detail so if you'd rather get this information graphically in the funky way I've drawn them or you want to just get that in plain text or you just want to listen to some people talk through everything you need to know then you can find that in the multiple ways I've set it up here but one of the best ways to get any of this information is to join the discord that is also in the links we've got a great little community of people already showing off what they're doing as well as you can find me and Carl there who you can just at at any time or just jump into my dms I'm happy for you to go in there and ask me any question about Eminem that you might have. I've also set up a bot that will also roll on all the random tables and give you a result for you so you can do that and it's just a really nice place to share, talk to all the other people doing it and just get modeling. So that is everything you need to know in a brief overview. And again, there are all those links down below that you can find all that information to read at your leisure. Or you can stick around now to have a listen to me having a chat with Carl about what does everything is a Necromunda model mean to us and where Carl has come from in the community. And you can stick around for us to talk in depth about all the rules, the judging process and any frequently asked questions we've had already for Eminem. In the meantime, why don't you give this video a like and a subscribe if you enjoy what we're doing and come and join the Discord anyway to see all the amazing things people are making even if you're not going to join in with the competition and that's everything really so why don't we just roll the damn tape. So yeah, here I am now with Carl, aka Underhive Art on Instagram. If you search that, you'll find all the wonderful things Carl does. But Carl is the person that I found out uh, sort of after I started this. Uh, started up really making the, the a really big thing out of the the hashtag, which is actually every model's a Necromunda model. So it's all one word. There's no is in there. It's just models. Um, and I uh, subsequently have found a lot about all the fantastic stuff you've done with that and about the community you've built around that saying. It's something that is obviously permeated the rest of the of the Necromunda world. It was something that was just there. It was just a saying. And I was like, and it's the thing that I always loved about Necromunda back in the late 90s, early noughties of just like how much more adaptable the game was compared to all the other ones. As much as kit bashing was a bigger thing back in those days, it definitely felt when I was coming back to Necromunda and like reading about outcast gangs and Venator gangs and all those things about how it was like really telling me you can do what you want. <laughs> Unlike everything else, which is like you have to have this. Um Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. So uh yeah, what does it what does that mean to you and why why did you what what why did that become something like you like you rallied around and became um, really important for you. I think you touched on one of the big aspects of it, which is literally just, um, you know, back in the day, everyone just was a lot bigger on kit bashing. Yeah. GW was a lot freer on 
how they produce their minis, you know, some intellectual property issues, some changes on how they produce their kits. Yeah. You know, there's, there's a lot of backstory to it, but really, you know, there was a trend changing away from bringing in uh, third parties and hand sculpted and all these bits and pieces. And I think the pressure of 3D printing as well. But yeah, the boring parts aside, you know, people just wanted to want to have a laugh with their miniatures. And, you know, um, I, I do too realistically one of my favorite bits you know um i don't not like painting but it's hard and takes time uh and you know a lot of the time i'd rather just smash some bits together and be like yeah that's cool yeah. um and i just wanted to really encourage that so i basically didn't have a lot of money <laughs> and wanted to do kit bashing so i started to produce digital kit bashes which i've seen in the past in um the hobby but primarily as a thing to just kind of take the mick yeah. so i'd seen people kind of you know just smash stupid things together and i thought well i can kind of encourage diversity in the small necromunda community that i've started to develop with like the sump city radio guys and that yeah by producing some digital kit bashes and yeah because i like world building yeah um i i was just using procreate and all of the amazing pictures that gw has on their main website um to just kind of screen cap little chunks of their different miniatures and then um photoshop them together yeah to to to, to produce new visions of what i thought were 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 fun world building aspects of necromunda and put them out in the community to just kind of encourage people when they saw new releases coming out to have a go with them because I knew I wasn't really realistically going to be able to buy all the miniatures. I thought, well, I, I can at least still do the the community contributing part of it by just encouraging. And I always tried to keep those kit bashes fairly simplistic because I didn't want to give the idea one, I was just super manipulating pictures. Yeah. I always tried to keep the scales, for instance, real close by matching all the scales up of their bases That's, and things like that with the yeah. key I had. But also just because I wanted everyone to, it wanted to be accessible. You know, I didn't want it to be gatekeeper You know, a lot of the time, I bet, a huge proportion of the community look at kit bashes because I certainly do. Specifically, when you see people sculpting green stuff and things like that, and you're like, "Crap, that is that is a high bar that yeah. you have to reach if you're new coming into the hobby." Um, and with N17 really kicking off and bringing in all these new people, you know, I missed out on Necromunda the first time. Yeah. Um, there's going to be a lot of new people, and you know, these simplistic kit bashes I just thought would maybe just bring more people in, and it ended up really resonating with the community, and I was really lucky in that respect. And it was really just the moniker that I came up with because it was that was basically what I was doing. I was taking, you know, uh, the Warcry stuff and Warhammer Underworld stuff and Blood Bowl, um, any any GW official miniatures, essentially. I was just mashing them yeah. to... to and, and the smaller the kits, the better in this respect, because it means that you're not having to buy massive 40k expensive box sets to take one dude and add them into Necromunda. You know, you can buy a little Warhammer Underworld kit and make four guys that are all called different aspects of Necromunda. So, yeah, I've, I've got quite a lot of these digital kit bashes saved up uh, on my profile on that and all with the, the hashtag. And it's funny you say the, the is because when I first started off, I completely messed that whole thing up. And because it was just something that I just slapped on there yeah. because I wanted there to be a hashtag because when Instagram first started then, you could actually catalog things by hashtags and they would all stay there. I was like, cool, I'll have a hashtag. Then everyone can find out all of these digital kit bashes. I messed it up. And, and sometimes it had an is and sometimes it, it, it uh, didn't. And, and, and sometimes it had an S and sometimes it had spelling mistakes because I'm good at that. Um, yeah. Good so um, but I, re I refined it after a while and then went and backdated the old ones just nice. to be like, no, it's all just it's all just S. Yeah, it's all just models. But I, so many people just just say it loosely as their own phrase yeah. that you know and and that's with, like with yourself but you know i think it's just brought everyone together so like screw it you know yeah no i think that's that's the thing and it's the accessibility of the photo bashing is a really important thing it's something that i do uh myself just 
pre doing a lot of kit bashes because I haven't got a mo- you know money to fart about and find out if you know what I mean you know like yeah, right. I can't just so one of the biggest ones I did was like a storm fiend with a necron um doom stalker base I've made and like in order to do that I was like well I started with that's how I did it with a photo bash like that looks like that will work and I'll check the scale by yeah co- copying the bases and then cutting them in the right place and oh, I'll take the legs off or should I not take the legs off because making that cut means potentially you know hopefully try i always yeah. try to be as non-destructive as possible but you do know that once you've done it you're like well, it's gonna be a well, lot that's of it yeah to get it back it's gonna be a lot of work gluing them back together and sculpting back in any damage you know yeah it's not reversible but it's not fun exactly so it's um so yeah i totally on board with that i think it's something to to show and hopefully if you can send me images of those that you've done in the past and i'll yeah, we'll do do. I've done yeah, as yeah well. i'll send a load so you can montage them through yeah whilst you're talking that'd be great because yeah i think it's a it's a it's something that people a kabuski i've seen on instagram is another guy who does some really cool ones in 40k as well and stormcast ones i think is his name um uh, I remember that being a thing about a year or so ago as well, but he normally does like, you know, I'm going to make a blade guard veteran out of different bits. But yeah, I think, okay, well, I think that's something that we can look, take from this. It's just that it, like a good like tip for anyone out there who wants to get into kit bashing, start photo bashing. I learned the whole base size thing as well from, I think Louise Sugden did a post about it and saying like, you will notice it when you realize that they always take the photo at the same level where the base mm-hmm. Yeah, very base close that to you it. See, is the same size as the base depth as well, and it's really easy to line things up. So even if you've got different scale, um, like different size bases that between the two models, the generally the height is right because they normally have the same thickness. So you can always just match the thickness of the edge of the base, and then and then also because they use that edge to match the height of what you see of the round of the base, you can usually like even between different base sizes get a good a good um a good gauge of what's going on. Yeah, definitely. I'd recommend yeah. anybody in whatever art program they're doing, just quickly make a quick ruler. Yeah. In uh one of the in the, on a blank template um mm. in centimeters, and then you can match all your base sizes as you bring in import photos to that ruler um, and scale them scale them together. Uh, that's awesome. Okay, so, well, that is how you, like, got into, like, making the thing of it, every, every model is Necromunda and your sort of backgrounds into it. Um, and so then we then, like, after finding out about all your stuff, people telling me, you've got to get in touch with Carl. Carl is, like, the the guy. He's the, the one uh, that this is who's, like the background to all this so i was like and it's been such a pleasure to meet you and like know or get to know about what you've done for the community and as you said like focusing around you know making it more accessible is something that i wish i did more of actually and i think about it now it's made me think about like how you can do that and um it'd be really good i think it's really good to get more resources out there for people of like hey this is how you can do it really simply here's like here's a head and you swap it. You've done a kit yeah. bash, you know, like, and here's an arm and you swap it. And I think, yeah, doing more it of those. It seems really obvious for people that have been doing it for years, but, you know, this, legit, it's not. You still see plenty of people asking if they can paint their space really a different colour, you know? So, yeah. legit, we need to help everybody coming into the community feel like, you know, they, they can enjoy themselves and do what they want. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's, re- so that's really cool. So that's the thing. So we, so then I, I this, based off that idea and the fact that I love Necromunda is why I came to the idea of putting this as a competition at the time. So I was just like, I I love doing these things. And I thought by doing it as a competition, then more people can sort of engage with it and be a part of that sort of part of the community of, you know, kit bashing and and what that means to Necromunda and getting the word of Necromunda out more to people if it does get to more things. And And hence why I went to like Element Games. I was like, okay, this could be really something really cool. And if we could get Element Games, that will that will encourage more people on board. Because if it's just a personal internet going, hey, join my weird. Yeah, that is the difficult one, isn't it? (laughs) So it was really great that they did. So really shout out. Yeah, legends. For being uh, legends on that. And to even add that um, uh, we've just had, we've got also. I was was talking to them yesterday and I said uh, we would definitely... Uh, use this inst- instance to um, to announce the the, the, the new prize. That yes, is, uh, exactly. Yeah. yeah, that's exactly right. So yeah, I got um, uh, contacted by Skirmish Mats, uh, who you can find at Skirmish underscore Mats on Instagram, where they're also going to be offering us, uh, and I'll put some images up, uh, some industrial zone mats, which are like a really cool uh, gaming mat that you can play for, you know, Kill Team, Warhammer 40k and Necromunda. They're beautifully rendered 
sort of like um you know zoomortalis style tiles and very underhive esque and so yeah that's another another prize we can add to the list and it's amazing it shows the sort of the the um the love for that for for this uh, this part of the community and people's willing want to be a part of it which is really lovely to see and uh, it sort of is a testament to what you've done with it but also just like what it means inherently to people so that's really cool so yeah, yeah they were really lovely when i was chatting to them yesterday about yeah. it it was really cool but yeah they clearly um actually you can tell that a lot of people just have such an attachment to the community mm. even when it comes to business aspects like this that that's yeah. what draws them in as well as you know it's obviously sponsorship, but at the end of the day, you know, it's it's our love for doing this that 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 brings us all together. So it's cool. Exactly, and I mean that that's the thing. I mean, yeah, it gets their name out there, but they've you know that's it. It's literally just like, hey, just have some. I'm like, yeah, for sure, I'd love to give yeah. these to people, and so, yeah. so that's really cool. So I'm yeah, that's really exciting. So yeah, that the competition then it's probably worth explaining what the competition is then so the the competition is it's what it says in the name. It's every model is a Necromunda model, and sort of taking on board that. The fundamental of it is you go out there, you take any model that is not from the Necromunda range by GW, and you kit bash that into a model for Necromunda. That is the that's the fundamental. You can use sort of weapons and accessories, and with that, I'm being slightly lackadaisical into the point of like if you want to use a head swap from a from an Escher. Yeah, I think that's do that. very fair, isn't it? And like an, if you want to take a weapon and the arm comes with it, I'm not going to get upset. Do you know what I mean? Like that is also part of it. Yeah, but... it's just the the spirit of the core of the miniature should be a different miniature. You know exactly. So what you can build is you can just build one model if you haven't got the time or you just want to have a go at it like just building one model there's a category for that so there are there are three main categories one will be best individual model so you can just enter that there is a best overall gang which we're saying to make a gang you need at least four models which is one leader one champion and two additional gangers now obviously if you have like a helot gang or a outcast gang you might not want a champion i can understand potentially that but yes. what i'm I... sure we can get lax with the idea that you know it can be a juve here or exactly. a prospect there exactly. or a heavy whatever you know it just exactly yeah like you like you said it should be a diversity of characters and not just four gangers or four characters yes, exactly you know? so yeah it needs to be at least one character and then i think the idea with the champion is that there's at least like another character that's got some real quality to it and then two yeah. yeah exactly so that's it which i feel is yeah. like in the spirit of what necromunda gangs are about yeah, is, there's, yeah. There's a hierarchy, isn't there you know there should be that diversity of characters mm. within a gang yeah and i think it pushes is in my head it's pushing me to make something really wild for my leader something minorly wild for my champion and then two yeah. sort of just fun little things that just supplement them. Is it? You want that creative cast of characters. So yeah, exactly. it's nice to see those different archetypes, you know, to make, you know, a gang. A hundred percent. And so that's see, yeah, exactly. So that's how you do you can so and when you enter in a gang, if you do a gang, you'd have to make a separate individual model. You just state when you're doing it, this is my model. Just do a separate submission or you state in the submission, this is the individual model I'm putting in as my individual submission. So if you don't say that, we will take your leader as that by default. Uh, if you don't mention it, that's how I'm going with it. But if you, or or if I th see one, whatever I can interpret as the best model, if you know what I mean, if you don't say what's the leader, I'll just say, well, that looks clearly like the one that's got the most effort that will be entered in. But if you can say this particular image is the one that I want to enter, if you want to enter into individual as well. And then best painted will be judged on as, as an overall thing based on on an individual model that we see throughout any of the gangs. So we'll just take all of the models there are and figure out which one is best painted. There won't be a split between individual and gang. It will just be like, we'll take one model from the gang and say, this is clearly the one with the quality, qualitative level. Which is worth noting the difference between on best painted and then how we're gonna judge at, at, at these three categories, which is that there are a set of criteria. The gangs and individual models so I'm sorry, I'm talking a lot on this, Carl. But, it's just, but um, no, please do. You've got to explain. Yeah, that's so, the thing. I have a problem with you know. So it's, uh... it's fine. So there's like um, so the main category for for gangs and individual models we kit bash creativity, the kit bash quality. So like how well you deal with the mold lines, how well you stuck them together. Have you do you know if people put the additional effort in of like liquid green stuff and getting those like gaps perfect, you know, and all those things the narrative as well behind it like whatever your narrative is we'll have a we'll have a have a waiting on that uh the basing so how the base is done so like the quality of that um 
and then the use of the random tables. Now, this is uh, something that we'll come on to, which is how you can help you decide what your gang is going to be. And we'll talk about what those random tables are. Uh, and then there's bonus points for using any of the extras on that table, which is some fun little quirky things you can do. And then there'll be painting quality, which will affect mainly the best painted category. So quality will have a, a minor effect in the gang and the individual things, but it's not going to be the, pro the, the main thing on that. Most of it's going to be down to the kit bashing and the creativity and quality of that and all the other things I've said. Whilst painting creativity and narrative will have a more greater weighting as a, as a sentence of that. So if you say like the quality of the painting isn't great, but it's like you've done some really cool hazard stripes in the right places and you sort of said my character is and and you know it's come from the eshers but it's got this story about them so they've sort of been at they're a wild runner that's been out in the ash way so i've sort of given them these khaki colors with these little hints of color you know hints of sparkle that that sort of show their aff affinity to the eshers but with a different twist if it's not as well painted as another but it's got that real linked to your narrative that's going to higher that's going to be higher rated in the individual and gang categories in my mind that's how i'm seeing it whilst when it comes to best painted it will be purely down that will have a weighting the create the, the narrative but it will be down to the quality of the painting really in that but obviously if you do a really great model but it has no relation to the narrative or what the model's about it's not going to have as there's not going to be as good as one that is greatly painted and fits with the model if that makes sense even in the best painted category um so so those are those so then that's it so when it comes to the tables now i uh came up with these uh as a as a fun way to help like help make this into its own thing but also help people out there spark their in spark their creativity and their imagination on it so the thing is you don't have to roll on the table you can choose if you want to but i find rolling on these is more fun and allows that bit of a uh, little bit of chaos in um one of my favorite things from woofrup is the fact that if you roll all your stats you get bonus xp because it's like the boon of the chaos gods <laughs> so there's sort of something to that but if you can but it we would like you to stick within one of the the, the categories on here and i'll put the image up so there are uh, d6 for the gangs the first one is house gangs which are the six key gangs cordor delac escher goliath orlock and vansar and then there's xenos gangs which can be any xenos you want but that includes gene stealers but you know if you want to make an orc gang or or a, a skaven space skaven gang or an aldari gang that's completely fine so it really opens you up to any of the any of the xenos races uh chaos gangs which is helot and corpse grinders or any sort of variation on that theme indie gangs uh is my catch-all for the ones that don't like our main gangs in the in the in the law but are not affiliated with the main house so you've got the outcasts the venators and the ash waste nomads and then uh the worker gangs which are the enforcers the ogrins and the squats and then uh free gangs if you roll a six just do whatever you want <laughs> just do whatever you want so i was i was adding in there that make it up you know go for it and if you want to choose that then great that's perfectly fine then there's a series of themes which d8 says underhive slime cult factorum mutant hero rocky horror pastel punk all the gear no idea crystal cool and neo noir and you can interpret those however you wish i am happy for that to be i just put them as fun things that felt related to the nature of what the 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 things that you encapsulated in necromunda which is runs from the the sliminess of the underhive to the the sort of like cults uh you know and the corridor sort of like and the the 40k religious orders that they have to just being mutated to being really camp to being anything really so there's sort of anything for everyone there then there's a weaponry one which is all about like, and again, in, in take these up all up in your grill, mind bullets, which could be like, I was talking to someone the other day, Immaterial Creations about this, and he was saying like, oh, what does mind bullets mean? Does it mean like psychic? I was like, well, it could mean psychic, but it could also mean I've made their head a bullet. <laughs> like, you know, that could be, you know that's, that's an option for you. Uh, call that a knife. Well, you can all, uh, you know, all understand what that one is. Burn, baby, burn just gives you your right to be a redemptionist. Uh, <laughs> bet you can't catch me. I mean, the Green Goblin characters from Vansar are always a fun one. More Dacca. Everyone loves a bit of more Dacca. Uh, swords only, because, you know, 
uh, that's always fun. And then weapons, what weapons? Well, you can imp- again, all you can interpret. And then there's twists, like make it automatic, make it broken, oversized, undersized, hidden talent, undercover furs, predator prey, or just wrong. And then the extras. Now, these ones you don't have to do, but if you do do them, I will give you bonus internet points and bonus points for like the if you get that quality in. And you can choose as many of these as you like, which can be three colors only, so that just limits your palette. No GW, so you got to figure all that stuff out. Do some sculpting, get bonus points for doing that. All about that base just means if you put a lot of effort into that base and make something special, then all great chaosify in my head that just means taking something that is you've got this whole you've just got yourself a corridor but you're going to make a chaos version of the corridor and you're going to make them mutated and just push it to that other level of chaos then that i think that's great or just take it as like i'm going to turn this up to 250 million (laughs) you know and then blindfold painting because i just think that's funny (laughs) which we both rolled didn't we (laughs) yeah yeah and so I think I'm laying down I'm laying down the, the, the challenge here that we will both get on a stream and we will both paint blindfolded and or we'll play it play it so that we can't see it's what we're... For the community, isn't it? I if, think it is. if we make rules ourselves. Exactly. We're gonna... So you can you tell me you direct me how to paint and I'll direct you how to paint and we'll see how it goes. And I imagine it will be absolutely terrible. But I'm not we're not allowed to win, technically, so we might as well no. Be exactly so i look forward to that so those are the tables um the other bits of the rules are pretty simple is like as you know i've said all the, everything else but you finish the deadline is september 15th of this year um and in order to enter this is the thing the entering is either go to instagram and use both the hashtag m and m 24 and either tag myself which is at fueled underscore chaos and that's only with one l or carl themselves which is at carl underscore r underscore johnston and that's johnston with an h and i will put that on the screen so everyone can see that and i'll put a link in the show notes below to a google drive that will have all this information on it for you so that's all there and if you do or you can go to the other link down in the 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 show notes below which is our discord channel where if you go in there there is a discord actual channel in on the community where you can submit your submissions there if you only submit on instagram and you don't want to join the discord i understand having lots of discords can be annoying but it's great community and there's people in there sharing what they're doing and talking about things and asking questions but i totally get it so like we will try and take anything we find and if you tag either of us we'll take a copy of that and put it on in that folder on there so everyone in the discord can see them as those final submissions come in which you've already had one which is kind of amazing. Have, yeah indeed. yeah but- it's really important if people are adding us is to expect us to get give them a message back yes. because it's very easy on instagram with the, the volume of material you get for us mm-hmm. to miss the submission mm-hmm. so if you haven't got a message back yes. that says yes we've got your submission 100 percent, then please just just us again yeah Still send free. us a a dm pm whatever you want to call it mm. because yeah we want to make sure we get everyone's submission i don't want to miss anybody so yeah so, please do yeah exactly and i'll put some um, i'll put some we'll put posts out when it's coming to like a week before and then yeah we'll do milestones and exactly then. milestones like that so that you're aware of when that's coming up and if you think okay well it's two days before and i still haven't got a message just yeah just get at me just yeah and dm me as well it's, it's, yeah. it's not yeah exactly yeah, and, the, you're in the Discord. you've done a great job on it like oh, you've you. you've built these he coded this tool in so that you can do all your dice rolls and things like that where you just uh basically press the button so yeah honestly check it out it's it's, it's worth it it's, yeah. it's cool that's, yeah, that's the thing yeah because that's one thing to note as well yeah if you go in there you can use a little avery and it's yeah you just type in like exclamation mark m and m and then it will roll those dice and give you the output of what those things on the table if you don't want to read them also i know the graphics are very graphical <laughs> and so there is also if you follow the links below a plain text version of everything and also if you go on to the instagram post there is alt text on all the images there as well which does describe them but if you follow the links to the google drive there's just a plain text version of everything um yes yeah, for accessibility you know yeah. both of our profiles it's yeah. all linked isn't it through exactly. our different trees yeah. you know you should, you should be able to stumble across it anywhere you look 100 percent um and there's and so with that, there is one other thing that's going to have a little bit more to it than the other four, three categories I mentioned. There is a final category, which is called the People's Choice Award. And that is because 
this is all about you at home and the, the community. And there's no one better to, to put their stamp on what is the best, really, than, than, than everyone out there. So once we have got all the submissions in, we will... We will depending on the number because it's going to depend because i don't think it'll be fair if we get hundreds of submissions to put a google thing up for everyone to vote for hundreds so what we're going to do is we will try and uh whittle down from into the best overall gang best individual models and best painted our top 10 or 20 again it's all going to depend on the submissions and i will keep people posted on what those are and then we'll put all of those up with very clear images and a voting system on probably a Google form is what I've been looking at and seems the most logical way to do this poll system, like Google poll. And then you have, after the submission deadline of the 15th, we'll figure out again, all depends on the numbers of these. Cause when we know what that is, we'll give a timeline of how that will work, give you a link for people to get on there. And then you can all vote and give a sort of a week or two, depending on how many there are for people to vote. And that will be another one that we'll give winners for. So, and, and with that, all four of those categories will win not only a £20 voucher from Element Games, which they can use online, as well as one of the skirmish mats, but they will also get a little model that I'm creating that I can hopefully, if I haven't if I haven't put it up here, at me at it, I'll put it on my Instagram because I'm still working on making it perfect, but I'll show a model of what I'm basing it off, of a little trophy you'll get in the mod post. And also the people who get the highly there'll be winners and there'll be highly commended in both who won't make second and third it's just you're highly commended two of those and they will also get a trophy as well uh so you'll just get a trophy and i am talking to other people uh, a couple of people in australia that i'm just reaching out to to see if there's anyone who wins in australia because i hear that element games doesn't work for them so seeing if there's flgs will be happy to cover that across and yeah i think have i covered everything is there anything that you think I need to say, Carl, on that. No, I think um, I think I rudely butted in if I remembered anything. Uh, so I think we're good, aren't we? Yeah. I think so. I think a, a couple of other things. Uh, you you can enter twice maximum. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we want to. Yeah, we want people to be able to do the 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 obviously like you said the the the, the gang and the uh, the single yeah. miniatures. So, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. So please feel free to do that but no more than that uh just and if you are doing your second entry in the description of the submission just say second entry just so that we're aware uh because it will just make it easier for us and if we find it out later then it might mean people are missing out which isn't fair and mm. it, we just need to make that so that's just the easiest way to do it so just write before you do anything if either it's on instagram or on the discord just write in big letters in capitals second entry top of it and then mm. say all the rest of what you'd say just because it will make it clear for us um i think the other thing to note is yeah the judging will be done by uh myself and carl as well as my friend chris who does the chaos engine podcast and then uh i'm also talking with some of my other friends um which i won't mention until i've got a definite yes that they're going to be available because that's still going on of guest judges for the final round so the three of us will set up the sort of top 10 or 20 depending on how many come through and then once we've put those out there and the people's choice is going on we will be deliberating about those overall gangs individual models and painted with some hopefully some some cool other guests that will help us come through with that and then once that is done which will finish at the same time as the people's choice has come back to us and we've collated all that data we'll get back on a call with everyone and we'll talk through all of the top models and we'll describe what we thought about them and like what was our thought process and why not like we won't be like you know nothing negative it's just like it'll be all about what makes these the ones that got into the top 10 and then we'll talk about the ones that win the categories and the the two highly commended uh, a little bit longer and then also we will reveal the winners of the People's Choice Awards. Um, and we'll see if they're the same as us, <laughs> uh, which will be interesting. Um, and and that's that. And that will be a video on this channel as well. And uh, yeah, if there are any questions, at either myself or Carl, I'm sure Carl, you're happy for people to just... Yeah, just PM for sure. Exactly. Get in the Discord. Nice chat. Yeah, exactly. Just You can direct message me. Totally fine. Leave comments below this video if you want or follow the links to discord and you i'm totally happy for people to dm me on discord as well because i find that a little bit easier to manage those those communications so i will you can find me by going to the to the discord then finding me and then uh dming me or just put them out there and if there is any questions that come up and i'm like 
that's a good idea. I will add all of that to the fact there's a rules judging an FAQ on the Discord and I will just put anything like that down with any questions. And um, and yeah, and, and I'll, I'll hopefully try and get back to you as soon as I can. I, you know, as much as I've got so much going on, but I will I will endeavor to try and make those uh, any clearer. And um, yeah, I think, I think, and oh, here's one more thing. There's a lot of, there's all these other categories you're talking about, the categories that are going to be serious ones. There will also be fun ones. I'm just saying that now because I've already got in my mind if there will be a best blindfold painting competition. So if you do do that, I don't know what you'll win, but you will gain our adulation and respect <laughs> for the best blindfold painted one. I'm even in my mind, you know, uh, thinking of some things that we might give away for that, but I, I won't say until until we get to that point. And there'll be some other, I think there'll be a lot of like, I want to give props that you might not have been the best at this, but you've done something particularly well. We'll definitely be yeah, definitely one of those things. And I will try and showcase as many. And if you do to at me, I'll be, I'll also be re uh, linking on Instagram, everyone's and trying to save those submissions on my Instagram in a little um, uh, save stories thing, which says Eminem and on the underside of it's on my profile. If you go to my profile, you'll find that. And any submissions, you can just go there and peruse them or just, go and check the the uh, the hashtag and you should hopefully see things coming up but as we know that's not fully the case <laughs> with instagram these days um is there any other closing statements you'd like to say on it uh carl because i've just talked um, a lot on this because it's been like yeah so it's 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 a big hurdle so for some people to to do painting and yeah. uh, i think it would be really great for everyone to to get involved and there's standards within the community yeah of what we consider to be best painted and you know that can be a real hurdle to some people but i think there's also subcategories and communities of people that paint in very specific styles and we were talking and we care a lot about these expressive styles of painting yeah. so we're definitely going to be keeping that in mind when we're looking at the painting uh and how we include the painting in the judging we want to see expressive or um particular styles of painting we're not just going to be like oh yeah well you've non-metallic metal and airbrushed that's within an inch of its life that makes it greatly painted yep. we care about whether or not you know you want to really push down a particular aesthetic yep. or narrative with your painting you know be that some kind of glance issue or the three color palette um or you know uh, how, however you feel um oh, best to express yourself yeah and you that know? is to, and that's exactly it like to say you know and that's why we're i'm putting that definitely in the notes of like painting creativity and narrative is weighted much heavier than than quality in the particularly the individual and gang categories because that's the thing I want this this isn't this isn't a best painting competition at the end of the day but I'm opening it up for people to do that it's a it in the sense of like what a you know it's not this is not golden demon this is this is something particular and yeah I want to yeah that's creativity yeah. competition first isn't it realistically yeah, you know exactly. and we're looking at that as a kit bashing yeah. and then we want to see things like stylistic paintings and yeah. and quality painting and then we want to see narrative and ideas yes. um you know all the way through you know the first um suggestion uh, submission sorry that we've had yeah. um he went and he wrote like a really nice cool long story nice. for the miniature um you know so uh, i hadn't painted it but it's going to get good points because of the story so exactly. you know if you are feeling you're going to struggle in some areas please just maybe have a go at some of the others um yeah and that will not preclude you from from it it won't because that's exactly, that's exactly the point so yeah you've said that you said that perfectly so yeah please don't feel like there's a barrier to entry on this because there really isn't this is not, yeah we don't yeah. keep anybody who wants it to be an inclusive yeah. community experience where everyone wants to share you know and it's important it. Yeah, and I think that's what I mean by those secondary categories of like things that we'll shout out because I think if there's like a really stunning thing that that, that maybe falls outside of the category of something else, we'll definitely want to highlight you as well. If if it just you know if it the, there will be things like that one particularly, it's got such a fantastic story. I would love to say best narrative. You know, I'd love yeah. to do that. I haven't got enough prizes to give, but I will definitely be giving props if you know what I mean for well, all those things. Um, you know, I'd, I'd love to throw in some art prints. So yeah. if we come up with some uh, runners up categories and that, yeah. we can we can do art prints and we can post out some art prints exactly. to some people. So, well, how about that? Then we'll do that. Yeah. Let's do that. That's um, a great idea. That is a fan, fab idea. Okay, there you go. So that's what we'll try and do. But we will we won't announce what those categories are. They'll just organically arrive by what yeah, organically yeah, because yeah. like you said, the submission quantity is going to vary massively um we'll have to see how the competition runs yeah. um you know we, we we hope it's a success because we'd love to do this year on yeah. so um you know uh, just have a go get involved yeah 
you know, he might surprise himself. That's it. Exactly. I think that's the thing. I think when I started getting back into kit bashing, I just started putting bits together. And to be honest, it's it's a it's a it's you find yourself just going for it. It sometimes just yeah, it's comes to liberating, you. isn't it? Yeah. It's just fun. Uh, thank you so much, Carl, for joining me today. Thank you, thank you for joining me on all this, and thank you for everyone watching at home. And again, last thing to say: if you have any questions, get in the comments below or follow any of the links and find me either on Instagram or on Twitter or any of my links. You know, on uh, on Discord and shout at me if you have any questions and yeah come and join in and come see all the fabulous things and, and be lovely to each other and please comment on all the fabulous submissions people do because everyone's putting a lot of effort in of what i've seen so far so um yeah let's uh, let's really rally behind everyone and and show how amazing this can be so that's that's what i'm hoping for so yeah let's make some miniatures yeah let's make that's it let's make some miniatures all right and in the meantime you stay, stay safe, safe. Yeah. bye everyone get on dude